Welcome to the H10 calibration procedure. It is recommended you perform this procedure at the beginning of every day you are using the instrument to ensure your H10 is working at optimal sensitivity for leak detection. Step one, the unit needs to be on and warmed up for approximately two minutes. Step two, set the leak size switch to small and set the manual auto switch to auto. Step number three, we'll briefly pass the probe over the calibration reference bottle and note the calibration lights. As you can see, the low and OK lights illuminated, letting us know the unit is in proper calibration. If the low, OK, and high LEDs would have illuminated, that would be a sign that there's too much current going through the heater circuit, and we would need to rotate that heater adjustment counterclockwise in order to get it back to calibration. I can create this scenario by rotating the heater adjustment screw clockwise and retesting for calibration. This time the low, OK, and high lights have illuminated, letting us know the unit needs adjustment. So I will simply rotate the heater adjustment screw counterclockwise and we will retest for calibration. The unit is now back in calibration. If only the low LED would have illuminated, that would be a sign there's not enough current going through that circuit, and we would simply rotate that heater adjustment clockwise and retest until we got a proper calibration. This concludes the H10 Pro calibration procedure.